Welcome back to Natel B Reefing and this is a quick update on the Aqua One Mini Reef 120. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I keep introducing it like that. I have no other reef tank, but anyway, that's what we do. So, um, everything's going okay. Uh, nothing really exciting to declare other than um, I'm quite happy that the clam is doing really well. So when I got it, this um, outside sort of very white piece of the shell had grown but I've had it now for maybe about a month and you can see just behind it there is a new bit of shell growing so it's growing another one of these pieces to the shell you can see it a bit better in that view there um, so the very very white the biggish white one was already there when I got it but that new little inside one is growing quite beautifully um, it's also got a really lovely color um, uh, I'm hoping that it's just going to get really really big and become basically the entire centerpiece of the tank uh, there is still a bit of Aptasia on the side. There's a little one there. I scraped it off, but the little thing came back. Uh, and then there's another one over there that I scraped off, but I think it's living inside the the actual like crevice. Um, the other corals, let's have a look. Uh, here we have the Montipora frag. Um, I don't expect you guys to remember, but the numbers are slowly becoming covered. They were um, completely, there was a whole bunch of space on that frag plug above the numbers, but it's slowly encrusting over. So it's kind of a nice, um, it's a nice little thing to have there so we can uh, monitor its growth. Um, this chap is unfazed by anything in the world. That's little numbs. Uh, this little shroom is always cool. No problems with him or her. I don't think they have a sex. Maybe they do. Um, someone can answer that question. Uh, there we go, gold torch. Again, I don't know what is happening on that side there. Uh, I don't know if it's peeling away, if it's dying, if anyone's got any up, uh, ideas about what's happening over there, let me know. But it seems pretty healthy with the exception of that corner. Uh, zoanthids at the back. Uh, that colony there is growing quite fast. Um, and so is that colony there. But the rest of them seem to be pretty much stuck where they were when we got them. Very little growth, very little spread. Um, all the little SPS frags up top are looking happy with the exception of that bird's nest at the back. Now, yes, there are some little tips, but it sort of stopped. It was exploding with growth and now nothing is happening. Sort of just press, someone pressed pause on it. However, this chap is doing really well. This little chap has uh, got some white tips, which means that one's growing. These guys are certainly getting longer. Um, and that color pink on that one's starting to come out quite nicely. Um, yeah, so that's those. Um, and then the other thing that we keep forgetting, or I keep forgetting about, is this chalice. This thing was nearly dead when I moved it around. Like, honestly, I thought it was going to die. But it seems as though it's starting to actually create another little mouth next to it. So, um, sorry, I know this is really terrible camera work. Um, but... Yeah, that was literally skeleton. I moved it to the back, forgot about it, and it's starting to, uh, it's actually starting to grow a bit, which is, is quite nice. Um, yeah, so uh, that is the situation with the chalice. And um, then we've got this little tank here. This little tank is a fresh water, a little 20 liter. Not entirely sure what we're going to do with it yet, so any suggestions, let me know. But I'm think it's going to end up having a little uh, bead of fish and maybe a few shrimp but if anyone has any suggestions let me know now that is a piece of driftwood covered in some sort of uh, moss now I think the one is called Taiwan moss the other one is called uh, fern moss or Christmas tree moss I think um, this is an Anubius I've been told they do pretty well this is a little bit more moss that I just tied to it there with some string and at the back is unknown plants although i'm pretty sure it's known but that's it there this tank has been cycling quite well i've been doing nothing not testing not doing anything and it is going to i'm just going to keep doing that for another couple of weeks i think it's been about a month now um just been cycling in the back here i've got some filter media and whatnot so the frog frog bit i think it's called um these things floating on the top their purpose i think is to drop these little uh roots down and those roots are what obviously suck up nutrients and they grow and they replicate, uh, duplicate or spawn or whatever. I don't know what they do. Um, anyway, but they're supposed to be growing a lot. But the problem is with this tank, because I made an overflow, they're getting sucked into the back there. So pretty dumb, I think. But I'm just going to leave them there because they're still sort of doing their job of denitrifying. So 
we'll see. Um, auto top off still working nicely and the Fluvel light's got no problems. So as it stands, this is what we got. We got our little freshwater setup here, um, which is hopefully going to be having some life in it, other than the plants, in about maybe two or three weeks. Um, and then we've got our Aqua One Mini Reef, which is doing okay. Got a bit of algae coming up on the MP10s, a little bit on the back wall, but not really that fussed. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. And I uh, hope that if you have any questions or anything, just uh, let me know in the comments. Or if anyone can tell me what's happening with that torch, I would much appreciate that. So uh, thank you very much. Peace.